In this video, we're gonna be using Maddie Lynn Home Shaving Supplies, Harry Wong, and the Chic Slim Twin Razor for a dome shave. Stay tuned. Hey there folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB, and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it, and as mentioned before, Today we're gonna to be using MLS or Matty Lynn Home Shaving Supplies, Harry Wong. And this was a special edition soap that he released. I think there were like 20 made. I have number 14. And I think that Lord Shady had this one sent over to me. So thank you again, Shady. The scent on this, basil, peppermint, lemon, orange. And primarily I think I get the peppermint, but you also get the other complimenting notes as well. It's kind of a nice scent. It's, it's unique. I do like it. Scent strength is about medium. It is very firm to the touch, which I like. And as we always mention, if you're interested in the Matt Elin Home Shaving Supply soaps and you're in North America, hit up Marion the Barbarian. I will put his email address below because he's the one who distributes these soaps. And we look forward to using this today and honoring uh, Matt Elin Home. And if you haven't checked him out, check out his channel below. I will link that for you. We're also going to be using today the Chic Slim Twin Razor which was sent to me by user Lynn, and I love it. This razor, I think, was made in 1989, according to Lynn. has two blades. It does have this uh, switch down here where you can lock it into place where it doesn't pivot, but we're going to allow it to pivot. This is a really nice, slim, um, cart-style razor that I enjoyed using, so I figured today, let's, let's give it a go. All right, let's get right into it today. We're going to miss the dome here. I will link the products that are, are available today for you below. The brush for today is the West Coast Shaving Synthetic, which I like. Um, it's nice, large knot on it, splays really easily. There is our lather. And hopefully we will have a great shave today. And I hope wherever you are, whenever this airs, you are having great shaves as well. Usually I shoot these uh, head shaves in advance, so it might be a couple of weeks before I air this and by the time I air it sometimes people will mention comments that I made in the video and I can't remember what, <laughs> what I said so sorry about that sometimes I'll go you know I shot this a while back I don't remember exactly what I said so remind me if need be if you make a comment about something I say that I'm not quite sure about but well I'll always remember this stuff about the razors and you know stuff like that and I really like this slim twin really makes me wonder why they stopped making cart razors that were nice and slim like this and agile in favor of those big honking, you know, five, six blade razors. And they shave well too, don't get me wrong, but I don't know, it just makes me wonder about it. And I like to, I really like the the vintage cartridge razors. I know some people don't want to use cart razors and don't like it, and that's entirely okay. But I ask that you not rain on the parade of those who do. Just use what you enjoy and have a great time and have some great shapes. That's always the key. Fun is always goal number one for me. And I actually had a lot of fun using this razor, so thank you again, Lynn, for sending it. And we're gonna try something today. It's just a little bit different. First, we'll work around this ear. And you know me, I tend to nick my ear every now and then by not holding it out of the way. So we'll make sure we're holding it out of the way first. But what I'm gonna to do today, it's a little bit different. Though. I'm gonna make my stroke that way and then I'm gonna to try to remember to come back that way all in one and then we'll see how that sort of goes. So we've made our stroke that way and then we'll turn it around and go that way. Just just trying something different, why not? Have fun with it. This razor seems um, really, really, it feels, I should say, really agile in the hand, which I personally like a lot. It's light, but really slim. And again, I really prefer this style of cartridge razor because I think it's, uh, I don't know, it feels a lot easier to use, to be honest, than the uh, five or six blade versions. I mean, at least from my perspective, it does. Um, and I will, I think Lynn told me they had more blades for this on eBay. And so I will hit eBay and and look for some more blades because I like using this one. It's just fun to use. Um, and the, the challenge when I use a razor, this razor, is not to call it the Slim Twist, which is a, a different razor entirely. This is the Slim Twin, so we'll do our best not to, uh, I, I think in the last video I called it 
uh, slim twist several times and it is not a slim twist. It is the slim twin and that is an important distinction. Um, it's Raven, because those are two entirely different razors and we certainly don't want to confuse the two. But man, this is a good shaver. Again, some of these old vintage carts, I think, personally, I think they had it right, you know, 30 years ago, or even longer, you know, with the Atra and, and razors like that. I think they had it right then. And perhaps they were pushing and pushing and pushing to, you know, you, you have to continue to innovate. And for my, for, for my money, I think it was better then than it is now. Cause this razor is really awesome. And if you like using um, vintage uh, carts, I suggest you give this one a try. You might find it quite enjoyable to use. Now I was always a Gillette guy with cart razors, so I never tried this one until Lynn, Lynn uh, sent it to me. And I must say, it's pretty enjoyable to use. And the soap is enjoyable as well. It's got some good scent to it, which I really, really appreciate. I like the scent strength on the soap. It's right at the solidly medium level, which is awesome. Very nice, very nice. Got plenty of uh, slickness and all of that. It's a simple formula it only has a few ingredients and i didn't show that to you today because again if you're interested you can you, know, you can buy these soaps from marion only has like four or five ingredients but it still good, gets the job done and a simple soap like this when you use it from time to time will just sort of prove to you that you know every soap doesn't have to be exotic to be fun to use it doesn't have to have ten thousand butters i know some people do prefer it when they do but you can certainly get a great shave without it, or at least I can. And so using some of these soaps kind of, I think it's, it's fun to do once in a while. And of course we, uh, when we do, we like to mention Maddie who can do just about anything. He's, you know, makes soaps, makes uh, adult beverages, and he's made some DE razors. Like he's a, he does a little bit of anything. I think a, a better question would be, what can't Maddie do? <laughs> I don't know that there's anything he can't do. I think of one in one of his recent videos, he told me he had just, uh, or actually in his video, he told us he had just switched jobs. Uh, and he had a few weeks vacation that uh, he was going to be using first and then you know, switching to a new job. So Maddie, I hope you, I hope you enjoy that new job and I hope you enjoy your vacation before the job. It's always nice to get a rest and a breather every once in a while, or at least I think so. Really helps get everything grounded and ready and having a vacation like that before a new job is probably just the, the formula the doctor ordered to get a little rest and then uh, come into that new job, you know, recharged and ready to go. So that's awesome and wishing Maddie nothing but Continued success with all his ventures, and he is into everything. He's always got something going. So, congrats, Maddie, on your new job. And I hope you folks are doing well in your jobs, and of course, in your lives, in your shaves, with your health. You know, if you have your health, um, as I think we're learning recently, with you know a lot of relatives and friends um, have been ill. If you have relatively good health, you have everything. You know, there's always opportunities for things to happen if you have good health, reasonably good health. So if you do, please be thankful because there's a lot of people struggling out there. So always try to keep them in mind. So now I'm just going to do some touching up. We've had a pretty good shave. I missed a few spots here and there on the back there, but uh, otherwise not bad at all. Let's just do a little touching up here. Let's see, we can always use a little work right here. So let's uh, let's lather up just those areas and touch it up very quickly. Maybe a little on the back here. And then we'll feel around and see what we have to do. Very nice. I really like this cart razor and I wish they still made it. I, I do know, I think you can find blades on eBay. So I'm definitely gonna get some blades for it because 
this is a razor that I'm going to want to use every now and then. It's just a fun razor to use. It feels so agile, especially compared to the modern cart razors. It also cuts extremely well also. So let's, let's sling that water off. There got a little too much water. Very nice. I'll tell you what, this has been a fun head shave. Just really easy going. This razor just is a pleasure to use. And again, I thank Lynn for sending this over because it is, it's a lot of fun to use, I think. And it was in the box still. But you know me, I'm not a collector, so I wasn't about to leave it in the box. You know, I like to use the, the items, not just to put them on a shelf and stare at them. That's just my thing. Nothing wrong if you're a collector and you keep things in a box. But for me, I'm all about, I want to use these items. You know, they're not here just to collect dust for me. Although some of them do collect dust because it takes so long for me to get back to them. But uh, I want to use them, you know, and enjoy them. And maybe reminisce about that time period, 1989. Long time ago now, but fun time. All right. And I tell you what, that was a nice shave. Everything today was nice. All right, let me rinse and we'll come back get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off cam. We did a warm water rinse to remove all the soap and then we towel it off with our Lancaster towel prior to applying the Thayer. This is Cucumber uh, Witch Hazel Magic because it's made by witches. This was a really fun shave today. I thoroughly enjoyed using the Maddie Lynn Home Harry Wong Limited Edition number 14. If you're interested in Maddie Lynn Home soaps, don't forget contact Marion. If you're in North America and if you're in Europe, if you're in Europe, uh, of course, hit up Maddie. We used our West Coast Shaving Synthetic Brush, which I enjoyed, Captain's Choice Bowl, and our Slim Twin, Chic Slim Twin Razor from 1989. I love this cart razor. It is fantastic. I got an excellent smooth shave, no nicks, cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, troubles. You just cannot beat that. So that was a lot of fun. Thank you, Lynn, for sending it. And we're going to finish it off today with the Big Top by the club, which I used um, the Big Top this morning in my shave. However, since the, the shave, the face shave and the head shave won't air on the same day, you know, some people will look at the video from this morning and go, he didn't use the Big Top. Well, I did, but I'm splitting up the airing of the videos on different days. Again, these head shaves air a little bit later, but we did use the Big Top and we enjoyed it. And I figure why not use it again? So <laughs> thanks so much, everybody, for joining me. I really appreciate it. Until next time. It's your shave, do it your way, and as always, God bless.